Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes, everyone. Welcome back to Blythe Golf. And look what we have here. A stinger video, baby. That is what we want. Who doesn't like dirty, filthy stingers? Let me check the camera. Anyway, I love stingers. If you don't love stingers, you're weird. So, before we get into it, why don't I just actually try and hit one? To see if I can actually do what I'm claiming. I've just been making some slight swing changes, so if I knob this, apologies. All right, that's pretty nice. Just going to the right edge of that, that black trampoline for the 200. So how do we hit a stinger? I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and quick. So first thing is you need a club with not very much loft. So I've got a Titleist three iron here, TMB. It's a driving iron. So three iron standard is 20 degrees, I think. This is cranked to 18, I think. It's basically a two iron. So that's the first thing you need because the, the lack of loft on the face is gonna help keep it down. As you can see, squeeze the ball forwards. So that's the first thing. Second thing, so now we've chosen the right club, the second thing is ball position, and we need to move that back towards the centre of our stance. Right, first thing we've got ball position. I play it pretty central. You could go behind centre if you need to. I don't feel like I need to, so I'm just going to go centre because I've got such a little loft on the face. Next thing thought is I'm going to feel like I'm covering the ball. So this right shoulder gets really on top of it and helps squeeze it forwards. So the normal shot, you'd be releasing it here. feel like the club head overtakes hands eventually. Not, not straight away, but you feel like you release it. With this, you want to feel like cover it with the right shoulder, driving it forwards, keeping it low. So as I said, club choice, ball position, and then cover it with that right shoulder. So before I hit this next shot, and without trying to get too technical, I thought I'd give you a little bit of background about why I chose these three things, so the club, the ball position, and covering the ball with the right shoulder is the three things to help you hit the stinger. So if we start with ball position, we need that to be further back because we're trying to hit down on it, and we're trying to hit a low penetrating ball flight. So this club has 18 degrees of loft on it, but at impact it needs to have more like 8 or 9, so we need to reduce the dynamic loft of this shot to really keep that ball flight down. And this is where the ball position and that angle of attack becomes a balancing act, because if you keep moving that ball back and hitting further down on it, you're just going to start increasing the spin to a level where the shot just becomes redundant because it just spins up and balloons into the wind. So this is me pre-locked down trying to sting this into a tree as you do. Anyway, this is where the feeling of covering the ball comes in because that helps you really get over it and squeeze that ball out there without hitting too sharply down in it and increasing that spin and, as I said, making the shot absolutely useless. But this isn't a shot I just go on the course and try and play because it can be an absolute disaster if it goes wrong and you can look rather silly and green keepers can hate you. So, honestly, the best thing you can do is go to the range, move the ball position about, mess about, try and hit really far down in it and just see what works best for you. And I honestly do believe that experimentation is the best way to learn in golf. And that's outrageously low. You don't normally need to hit it that low unless you're playing on a windy, windy golf course or somewhere that's firm. It's a shot that I use actually quite a lot. It's probably a, kind of a go-to tee shot for me if it's firm, as I said. I feel like I can hit it really straight in both ways. Probably all know Tiger as well. If you don't know him, yeah, I don't know what you've been doing, but obviously you know Tiger. And his stingers, he's famous for them, isn't he? And he says that is a go-to shot for him. I don't know why, it just feels like you can control it. So, hit another one, try and keep it quite straight. And we'll start trying to move it about to listen to my own advice. You see, they're not getting more than 15 feet off the ground. Let's go to four iron, a little bit more loft. Try and flight one a little bit higher. Again, I'm just doing the same thing. The same thing. Trying to cover it, ball is middle of the stance, not doing too, anything too drastic. Pulled it five yards, but that's nicely flighted. So we'll stick with the four iron, try and shape it as well. The shot that I feel I'm personally really easy to shape. So the cut, so you want to keep the same, cover it, but we're going to make that path come in from the right a little bit, keep the face open slightly to the path. I feel like cutting across it. Again, I'm going to sting it so it's going to be low. Little cut, starting on that left flagstick. That goal post, sorry. And then we'll go for a draw. Start it on that, this red flag here. Same feeling, but this time we're going to go from the inside and feel like we just roll the club face over a little bit. Again, let me get it for going forward. Like that. 
and I will take it really, really dirty. Talking no more than head height. So this time I'm gripping down a little bit just to help me again keep the ball down and get really on top of it, that right wrist. Ball is still centre of the, center of the uh, stance. And that's low. Really low. So for me, I probably carry this about, I don't know, 205 yards maybe. It doesn't carry that far, but if it's firm, it's going to run out to like 260 easily. This is with the serious thing. See, see that track man there? The uh, the black box. I'll have a go at that. Oh, he's hit it. Oh. Probably kicked me out of here. That's good job I missed it. No, they're ballproof, aren't they? So a common mistake with this shot is that people feel like they have to get really steep, which you do to keep it low, but because of that, they end up hooding the face and getting stuck here, and you'll hit this kind of shot. Well, maybe you won't top it, but you know, <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. It's going left because you need to you need to control it with the chest. It's a big muscle move, and as opposed to just that, it's covering it, squeeze it out there. This is a shot I have learned because I hit it in the tree so much, as Joe has just said behind the camera. I don't know if you heard it. It's also because I played so much links golf. I think we're going to get kicked out on me. Oh, let one more. The dirtiest thing are going. Finish on that. Thanks for watching.